Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Javelin 10P because that thing is a missile monster. We have six missile hardpoints here on a light mech chassis and we can throw a lot of explosive warheads around with that thing. Now um, let me quickly say something before we dive into the build. I actually played it slightly different and I rearranged the build for it to have more longevity. I was a little bit short on ammo in the first playthrough. I played a bunch of games and then I was running into one game I was actually running out of ammo. So I changed the build so that it has more ammo now. You have a slightly lower engine rating compared to what you see in the games, but uh, you have more longevity and that is very, very important here. So that would be the optimized build, but you see the games in a slightly different build with less ammo. What are we doing today? We have six SRM2s for a good cycle time. The more missile hardpoints you have, the better it is to go for smaller weapons here because they have a better cooldown and basically weigh the same comparatively. So therefore, for six SRM2s com compared to two SRM6s, which would be bad, so or would be worse comparatively. We're running an XL engine 225, brings us to a neat 130 kph. We have three jump jets for mobility, two additional double heat sinks, which brings us to a total of 11. And now we have four and a half tons of ammo. Earlier, I was only playing with three and a half tons, which was definitely not enough. I think it's worth noting that we stripped the arm armor completely, we stripped the head armor completely. Um, so if you're getting shot in the head there is a chance that uh, your ammo is getting crit and it blows up but the chance is so damn slim that i would say it is absolutely worth doing that and uh, just preparing for 99% of the cases and ignoring the 1% when you actually get that very low chance of getting a crit and your ammo blows up your head component therefore i like to live dangerously Let's take a look at the skills here. As you can see, we have tilted a lot of our firepower or a lot of our skill points into the firepower tree. We're going all with all the missile nodes here. We have a lot of cooldown. We have a good amount of range on top of that. And of course, heat gen, heat gen, heat gen. I skipped armor and survivability in general altogether because my armor is speed and I was going for maximum speed tweak here. We have half of the cool run, we have rated deprivation, 60% of it, as well as a seismic sensor point. Although I gotta say, one point is not much. You can benefit from it when you have somebody right above you or below you, but the, the area that you cover with the seismic sensor is rather narrow. You will probably see the enemy before that seismic sensor will kick in. We also have um, two artillery strikes as well as, I think, a cool shot. And that is the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Termaline Desert. We are playing Skirmish. Let's meet up with the Assault Max and then... Just shoot the hell out of our enemies, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, our, our assault mechs are starting here on the Charlie 7 area, and I think meeting up here in the center would be a good idea. The enemy light mechs won't be able to backstab them early on, but, you know, just to make sure, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna help them out by just sticking around, and if there is a nasty backstabber, again, which I doubt, I'm gonna be there, and I'm gonna... Oh, that's nice to see. Double Marauder here. That is really good. That's a great mech for our heavy mech bracket. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and help them out just by being there. If the light makes are coming, I can handle it probably. I can drive them off and then my teammates can get into position Target yet again. Acquired. Where's my team going though? Uh, you guys in Echo 6, our assault makes are very, very, very slow. So wait before you engage. I'm coming right up your rear. Okay, okay, okay. Not necessarily if you wait, it might be the turn to protect New them. Target. Yeah, Acquired. exactly. Because if they get rolled on, you exactly. Have to be there and what are you doing up late. there, guys? You want to get an high ground spot there? This is not good because the fight will most likely happen here in the Echo Six like what's happening area. Right now. Yeah, that's what I mean. Let's get out of here. Uh this is not my fight. Absolutely not. Thing is, nobody's here. Nobody needs protection. Like no enemies are here, so I can find myself a nice spot. God, that's a lot of missiles. It's probably nothing I can do here. No. Just because that's a long range engagement and I really need to be close. But hey, that's fine. Again, trying to find your spot within the team is important, especially as a light mag. And if we engage a little bit later, then so be it. The important thing is to stay alive in the first phase. Okay, they took one from us. We took one from them. But I suppressed him. He may not want to peek again. Yeah. They're coming out of the Death Valley. Here we go. Probably pushing by himself. Here we go. That is our fight. That's exactly what we are looking for. Okay, we dropped artillery. That hopefully splits them up. Some of them will cross yeah, that red yeah, smoke. Some of them will probably hesitate and not go down there. 
Don't yep. fix your buff, get rolled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Missiles. I'm so afraid of those missiles here. It's crazy. Alright, let's go in and fight. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> get in there and fight and then wait for the big guys to close that gap. But that never really happened. Oh, actually it did. It did. Never mind. Um, the enemies are forced to continue their push over to the left side now. That means we're gonna go in there. Wow. Wow. In their backs, I wanted to say. LBXs and rocks. You know what? I can do that. I can definitely do that. Oh, those ATMs though! Those ATMs. Okay, we destroyed something. Bad. Let's get out of here. No, Can we make it? Can we make it? I know I'm getting shot a lot. <laughs> Seeing destroyed. Bad. Oh, come on, guys. Be a bit more aggressive. That's what I was actually expecting from you. And it didn't come. That's the thing. When I was going in, I was actually expecting that my team would come with me. I mean, I'm, I'm just stating facts here. I'm not, I'm not mad about it or so. It's just trying to explain what I was trying to do here. So we have to engage from a safer spot. Especially since our side torso is wide, wide open now. See, I'm on the Raven is countered. The guy is dead already. The guy is out of range. So we gotta get out of here. Try to find another angle. Man, this game is real hard. Real hard for me, finding my spot within the team. That's it. Okay, Sun Spider is engaged. 150 meters to the Huntsman. We have a separated Vapor Eagle. No. It's that shot, sadly. Ah, uh, fall down, man. In the meantime, we're gonna shoot this guy. White leg is critical now. I don't like to hear that. But now it's time for us to retaliate here. We're gonna go for the legs. Heavy small lasers. That's kind of nasty. Leg is down. No, it's not. Uh, now it. No, what? Still not? Finally we got him. Good. Gonna go back for this guy, which is also getting destroyed like crazy there. Not enough range. But here we have it. Down he goes. Finally, we got a kill. And now the last guy is the little kid fox here. Let's wreck him. Okay. I would say it kind of worked. Um, I hope that I was useful when I was um, <clears throat> trying to distract the enemies and getting shot like crazy. But hey, that was damage that my team didn't take and we survived in the end. We got one killing blow. We got eight assists, one kill most damage dealt, 497 damage done and four components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Rebelite Oasis and we are playing Skirmish. And as far as I can tell, I took a look at our Assault Max. We have a bunch of long range dudes here. So, uh, let me quickly uh, let me quickly talk about that. Uh, this guy is a charger. He has, what is that? Rux? Yeah, Rux. Okay. Uh, this guy, I don't know. Uh, missiles on the, on the side also, somehow. I don't know which missiles. Uh, might be LRMs. He also has two flamers there. So, might be... The flamers might be... Uh, defensive maneuver or defensive weapon for when somebody's pushing him then he starts flaming them so that they shut down and then uh, he can get range again. Uh, there was also a Scorch probably LRMs then we had uh, something something something. We had a Gauss Sun Spider with probably two large lasers. It seems very long range oriented what my team wants to do here so I need to find my spot. If I'm going all in alone I'd have a problem so yeah I can scout and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. But other than that, they have a UAV in Fox 5. Um, other than that, I think okay. I am bound to wait for my team to do something. Uh, hello. Target acquired. Okay. Uh, that's medium pulses and a lot of them. Although, I gotta say, let's uh, keep the pressure up because he's more or less alone. We can deal damage now. And if we can deal damage now, we should deal damage. Guess it right. Now. All right, that is enough for the moment. We're also getting slightly hot. We dealt a good amount of damage early on. Um, it was all a bit splashy because the Timber Wolf twisted and turned like crazy. But you know what? I'll take it. It's free damage. Target now, uh, what is next? Uh, LRMs and the PPC on the Supernova. Okay. Okay. Today is long range day, so it seems. Uh, who's calling for assistance? Oh, MRMs. That's good to know. That's good to see. Can I jump over you? 
Um, I want an angle on the Echo 5 guy and... Yeah. Like this? There's a guy. There are two guys, in fact. But I cannot close in. Not safely enough. So I'm gonna try to flank them. Uh, and help out with the fire starter here. I'm gonna go for the fire starter. Yep, definitely a good target for me. We can deal some solid damage. And he's also very de very damaged already. Hi. Shouldn't do that. Maybe. I'm trying to hit a weak spot. He's probably XL. Oh no, he is not. Alright, we got him. So, we're gonna intimidate this guy. Just a little bit. Dropping artillery behind him so that he is pushed into it. Right. Again, just keeping up the suppression there. This is all I'm here for. Now we're going all in again. Good. Nicely done, everybody. We got the kill. We have four and something. Uh, it's in range, so I should shoot. Heat level critical. I'm also pretty low on ammo. Okay, I didn't expect that. Taking the cockpit again. I'm kind of stuck here. Oh my god. Please no. Please no. Good-ish. Uh oh Not good-ish. Uh, guys, we have the advantage. We should really push them. Uh, if you can, that's the thing. On the death strike now. I'm going in. Side torso first. Get behind him. Applying more pressure from my teammates. Good, that's enough. I don't need to push that any further. I gotta be very selective with my damage output now. I think, you know what? I really need... I really need to kill this Jaguar here. Hi. <laughs> Somebody took the kill. I need to drop a jump jet and put more ammo into this. It is not sustainable. Not really. Look at that. I'm halfway into the game and I'm almost out of ammo. Man, I really want I really want to shoot you. I should shoot you. Yep, your back is open and very damaged now. Is he gonna turn around? Yes. I don't care about my arms so much. Yeah, we definitely need more ammo. Man, that was a miscalculation on my end. And yet again, just before I can get the kill, somebody else takes it. It's a bit rude, but it's okay. I mean, we did our part, definitely. Go! Let's get the Arctic Cheetah on top. Maybe, maybe it's possible. Nope, of course not. Hey, four missiles left. And I'm out of ammo. The only thing that we can do is death from above and dropping artillery. Uh, I should probably not provoke team damage by hugging them. Alrighty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Feels bad being with your pants down like that. But you know what we're gonna do now? Uh, I think the yeah, Sun Spider is getting killed. We can try to stay in the fight, squirrel around them and dropping artillery on their heads. Wonder how much team damage we will deal then. Lomala. Hello. Okay. Dropping artillery here. How dare you? Uh oh! Uh oh! I'm a friend! I, I swear I'm a friend! Totally didn't didn't drop that artillery on you and totally didn't deserve getting shot by my friends here. Hey, stop! Stop it! I wish I had ammo! I mean the jump capacity is pretty good. But yeah, we need more sustain, we need more longevity in this. There we go! Got him in the end. That's important. Did we win the game? Yes. So, I did my part when I was ready. I could have done more, but it was good enough anyway. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's take a look here. We got zero killing blows, sadly, but nine assists and two kill most damage dealt and 772 damage done and no artillery strike damage. Look at that. As well as two components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.